Hi, my name is Ashok Aladi and I'm a product manager of the Oracle Fusion Midware team. Today I'm going to discuss about the, the WebLogic administration port and its advantages. In short, enabling the admin port helps you to secure access to you know, WebLogic admin console. By default, when you install WebLogic, the console is deployed on the same port as other applications and is available just by appending the forward slash console to the WebLogic domain address. The knowledge of which can potentially be used by folks to break into the admin console. So in addition to securing the console, you get a slew of additional benefits by turning on admin port. As uh, indicated earlier, the console is now accessible only through a secure non-standard port and administrative requests over any other port other than the admin port are rejected. Second, you get a dedicated admin listen thread. So what's the big deal with this listen thread? Now let's say you have 40 listen threads and the admin port is not enabled. A bug or poor resource utilization can cause all 40 listen threads to be blocked or otherwise unavailable. So now at this point, if you want to get into the console and see what's going on with your application, you're out of luck because you, there are no threads to service your um, investigation. So this is not good. So with the admin port enabled, even if you have the 40 listen threads blocked, you still have a dedicated admin thread which can still be used to, to do your investigation. Of course, you can also look at the separate uh, thread benefit from, from a different perspective. An admin poking around on the console and looking at the, the administrative situation won't be consuming a thread intended for satisfying user requests or user transactions. The admin port also enables you to start a server in a standby state. So while in a standby state, the admin port remains available or active and the admin can use uh, that port to administer the server. However, the server's other network connections are unavailable to accept client connections and thus process user requests. Finally, it also enables you to separate the administration traffic from application traffic in your domain. In production environments, you know, especially separating the two forms of traffic ensures that critical administration operations such as starting and stopping servers, changing a service configuration, and deploying applications do not compete with high volume applications traffic on the same network connection. Now I have a small demo to showcase this functionality and the advantages of uh, the admin port. So in this demo, I will show you how you can use this functionality to deploy a new version of an existing application on production system and test it without opening it up to all users. Now you can do the same thing even for brand new applications. So you can deploy a brand new application and test it before opening it, opening it up widely to all the users. So the new version in this case is deployed in the admin state such, such that the application is visible only to the admin user. Once the administrator is satisfied that the application performs as expected, they can enable it so that uh, it's visible to all the users. And best of all, you can do all of this without having to restart your application in the servers. To begin with, let me log into the Web WebLogic admin console. For this demo, I have, uh, I have a domain um, created with just the admin server running in my laptop. As you can see, I'm logging into the console using the default port that was used during the, the domain creation, uh, which is 7001. If you look at the address bar, you will see the, the port number over there. Now, let me <clears throat> go to the domain config area, which is, a, uh, which is available when you click on the, the name of the domain under the domain structure um, area in this console. And as you can see on the right hand side, there are two fields that are related to the admin port functionality. One is the enable administration port flag, and the other one is the admin port that needs to be used when you connect to the admin server. So let's, let me go to the chain center and turn on configuration editing. And now I can go ahead and enable the admin port. And for the administration port, I'm going to use the default port that's already filled in 9002. So let me go ahead and save it and submit the changes.
And once, once you submit it, as you can see from the address bar once again, we are using now the new admin port 9002 and a secure socket slayer uh, protocol to connect to the admin server. So previously we were using 7001 and now we have switched over to the, the new port that was specified uh, when you turned on the functionality. So now let's look at the deployments and make sure we don't have any applications deployed yet. Um, as you can see here, this is empty. Now let me go and deploy a sample application to demo this functionality. To do so, I'm going to use the WebLogic Deployer uh, command line script uh, to deploy this sample application. The name of the application is Aussie-Tripper-V1 as, um, as you can see from the script uh, under the, the dash name attribute. And it also provides the, the associated gear file that needs to be used to, uh, to deploy this application. So let me go to the command window and launch this script. In the meantime, let me go back to the console and refresh the deployment screen. And as you can see here, the, the application has been deployed and um, you can see under the state, the state is active, which uh, essentially means the, the application is deployed and ready for use. So let me go bring up a, another tab and launch the application 2001. As you can see, the application comes up uh, and if you look at the title, it's um, it's in a version 1.0, which is essentially what we wanted to deploy. And this application is a very simple application which just tracks the cities that you're going to click on the on the continent of Australia. And the, the tracker, the tracker is available on the, uh, on the available right hand side. Now at this point, I want to deploy a brand new version of this application. Now, as I said earlier, before I make this new version you know, available to all the users, I would want to go ahead and make sure the application performs as expected in production system. So I would like to go ahead and deploy it such that it's only available to the admin user. Now the script that is <coughs> used to deploy um, just in admin mode uh, is, uh, is here. As it's very similar to the script that we used to deploy the original application uh, with the two additional attributes. One is the, the dash admin mode um, attribute that is provided as a command line option to, the, to the, the deployer script, which indicates to the admin server, go ahead and deploy it under uh, admin, admin mode. And this, the second thing is because uh, we are uh, up, you know, upgrading an existing application, you know, uh, that's the reason we needed to provide a version for the application which uh, we are providing with the, the dash app version option. Uh, here we are indicating if this is version 2 of an existing application identified by the, the dash name um, option here. So let me go ahead and now run this script on the command window. Let me go back to the console and look at the deployments. And let me refresh the screen here. And now you can see there are two deployments here. And um, so we have now the second, uh, the, the newer version that we just deployed, the version V2. And you can, as you can see from the state column, uh, the state is admin for this V2, which essentially means this application is only available to admin users. So let's, uh, since uh, this console, I'm already logged in as, um, the admin user, I'm going to launch the Aussie Tripper application. And as you can see from the title here, um, now the, the version that is available to me is version 2.0. So let me go ahead and just click on the application to make sure it is functioning fine. <clears throat> so before I go ahead and promote this application, I just want to show you guys that um, if I log launch the Aussie Tripper application from an, yet another browser, the application that I have visibility is only version 1.0 application. So let me now go and promote version 2 to be the current version such that it becomes the, the default version for all, all the users. Now the script to promote an application to, to be the current version uh, is shown here. 
and uh, the key thing here uh, that is required is the dash start option uh, to the weblogic deployer script which just tells you know promote the specified application to be the current version in this case we are identifying the application by the name option and then we are providing the the version as well the app version v2 so essentially we are saying promote version 2 to be the current version so let's go ahead and do that Uh, now, now let me go to the console to look at the, the deployments. And as you can see in the deployment area right now, uh, version V2 is in active state, which means that's the application version that is you know, now, now that is available to every user. V1, as you can see, is in a stop mode um, slash running in the sense that there are few users who are still using it. And as soon as all the users log out, uh, v2 essentially takes over and v1 gets undeployed automatically by the by the admin server so now if i go go back to the user and invalidate the session and uh, launch it again and as you can see from the the title here um, as a regular user coming through the, the default port 7001 now i have version 2 of the application that is visible to me I mean, that's NSA demonstration. Um, it nicely shows how you can use the admin port functionality to test an application and make sure it functions as expected in production systems. And then only when you're satisfied, you can promote that application to be the, the, to the current application and make, or, or make it available to all the users. Thank you.